Hello students, I welcome you all to this video session where a subject will be introduced to you for better understanding. I am Anwar from the Department of Computer Science and let me break down the whole syllabus into unit wise and discuss the first unit today. Technically speaking, we are going to discuss about the second half of the first unit whereas the first half is discussed by Ms. Nandini from the Department of BCA. So let's focus on so the subject name is software engineering and the subject code is 19 UCS 10. So we are going to talk about the software project management and it involves five areas. Number one is the responsibility of a project manager. Number two is project planning. Number three is metrics to be estimated for a project. Number four is the techniques for estimation. And number five is risk management. So what are all the responsibilities of a project manager? So he has to build a team which will complete a project for him as well as he has to monitor the ongoing project. He has to estimate the project cost. He has to specify the configuration of a system. He has to write a report, etc. So the list is very vast. And how is he going to do it? By breaking down it into two major classifications. One is project planning and the next one is project monitoring. So project planning, so, which is something that we are going to estimate the characteristics for planning the project and project monitoring is something that we are going to make sure that the project development is as per the schedule and as per the plan. So to do this, there are some requisites or the skills required for any kind of project manager, so which involves knowledge of the project management that he has taken up, the decision making skills, the customer interaction with good communication, previous experience on any projects that he or she has worked and cost estimation. So let's move on to the project planning. So as you can see the picture, every project has to start with a plan. So project planning is a basic step that we are going to take forward to start a project. It involves scheduling, staffing and all other miscellaneous plans which are involved for planning a project. So to do this, we are going to talk about a sliding window planning. So which is a very accurate step taking, so which involves at the beginning stage of any project. And when you are going to talk about the rhetoric estimation, so we are going to talk about two basic areas. One is LOC line of codes and the next one is function point. So what is this LOC? LOC is nothing but the number of lines that are going to get involved that we are going to develop as a software. So we are going to count the number of lines and we are going to give it as a metric in kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, etc. The second one is function point. So function point is something that it is an idea so which can be involved in any software that we are going to develop. So every software project has a function point which also involves certain lines of codes. So the next area is project estimation techniques. So how are we going to estimate? So there are three basic rules. Number one is empirical estimation. So which we are going to use our educative skills to make a random guess of how the project is going to get completed. So next one is heuristics where we are going to compare two projects with similar identifications and we are going to use the knowledge in our ongoing project. The third one is analytical estimation where we are going to use our cognitive skills to assume what the project is going to be up to and how is it going to get completed. So next thing is risk management. As you can see, the picture says lots of words. Risk management is something that we are supposed to anticipate for all favorable and unfavorable conditions that could occur, that might occur while going on for a project. So it involves risk identification, it involves risk assessment and also it involves risk mitigation. So you are supposed to identify a risk when a project has been started, then you have to do a very uh, enumerated risk assessment and you are supposed to mitigate it so that it does not affect your project. 
So it gives me a pleasure to meet you all when we are going to discuss about the whole thing as an elaborated view. Thank you all.